Who are we? in a very old house by the fjord. Bra, Lissi. Bra. Old stuff Lissi. from my family inside the house. Just moved here. Yeah. We just became part of this house history. We prepared a garden last week. It's spring, so we have to prepare the garden again. I look at the trees now and I see what has been done. And I think that I will do this and then someone will come after me and do something else. Maybe it will be my daughter who does something to the trees. My father cuts down trees. <laughs> He was asked to cut down trees when he was young. And he got so sick of it that now he just hates them. I think. My family, my ancestors, my ancestors. I am the only musician in my family. was a strict woman, playing religious hymns. She fought for the beautiful language New Norwegian, and for women's rights, of course.
My grandfather, he was born in America. My great grandmother left Norway for America when she was 17. My grandfather lost his mother when he was four. And he was brought back to Norway by his mother's family. And he changed his name because no one could spell it. But, but her, the her, the her. My father gave me these stories. He gave me a lot of other stories too. And now it's my turn to tell my daughter's stories. So what stories do I tell my daughter? Who she is? Who is my father? I felt very strongly that playing the harp that I was that I was part of a tradition. And that I had inherited a set of values. to go about playing the harp, to, to represent the harp. And the pieces I liked, they weren't in this tradition. They broke with the tradition. And and I tried to get more people to like this kind of music for the harp. But everyone wanted the expectations of the harp to be met. Even not bringing a gold harp was wrong. I don't think there is enough variation of how the harp is being used. This was maybe one of my last gigs before I said, okay, I'm doing contemporary music from now on. It was the culmination of, of what a harp gig um, can be. What audience expect of us. What concert arrangers expect of us. I'm generalizing now, of course. There are a lot of them out there. I want the harp in a new context. Someone accused me of wanting the harp to be something else than it is. But that's not the case. I just don't want the harp to be 
locked down into what the heart then could a be. conductor a very good conductor and a very good communicator he of course said this um, harp straight from heaven sentence which is wonderful i mean straight from heaven who doesn't want to be straight from heaven maybe I need to clarify what I'm talking if about. If I play a piece, if I play a piece which represents a story about incest, which represents an incestuous story, is that proper for an angel? Is that proper for an angel? And what is an angel, really? That's a very strange debate. Why is it my job to find out what angels are? But my audience, are they ready for it? Or do they just come to my concerts to hear something pleasant? Is it wrong, Is it wrong not, not to, to give, give them, them anything pleasant? I don't think it's interesting for me. I don't think it's interesting for me to only to sit and only sit play and pleasant play stuff. Pleasant stuff. I respect that a lot of I people do. That a lot of people do find this find this stimulating. Stimulating. But for me, it's not the case.